thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm in in the last in the final stages of hotel quarantine in Perth. I've just completed my last season overseas um, as a professional road cyclist and recently announced my retirement. Um, there's a hell of a lot of time to think in here, uh, in your own four walls, you know, not, not interacting with anyone outside of a mobile phone or your laptop or whatever it is. Um, I can't go outside and I'm actually doing surprisingly well. I've surprised myself with how I'm coping. Uh, in the past, I wasn't, definitely would not have been able to cope in in this circumstance. And I put it down to, you know, the years that I've spent on personal development and invest, investing in my own mental health as well as physical health. Um, and I've learnt so much over the years and cycling was a huge part of that. Um, but over time, I just started to feel less passionate about racing bikes and way more passionate about helping people and giving back and connecting, um, connecting with people who I resonate with and who resonate with me. And I want to use this as a platform to do that and to really explore that space. Um, I think I have a lot to give uh, in terms of, you know, my own experiences and my own growth. And I think when we can share that with other people, we can really help empower them and help them along their own journey whilst, you know, being on, being on a journey of our own. And I think connecting in that way and just showing each other that we're, we're really the same when it comes down to it, we're all on, on, a, on the same level, you know, things like sport and definitely for me, cycling was made in my mind and I'm sure other people can say the same thing, that it's made to look like, you know, the people who get better results are better people, that they're more happy, that they have more money, that their, um, you know, their lives are just better. And so you spend a lot of time trying to be like those people and rarely do you go within and sit with yourself and become okay with who you are as a person and accepting of your life experiences and your own values and your own purpose. And so although I really love cycling and I still love it, I chose to retire because I started to develop passions in other areas that I really wanted to step into. And for a while I was being held back by the belief that if I didn't succeed in cycling, if I had better results, that people would view me as a lesser person. And it took me a long time to realise that that's not the case, that myself, for me, I'm so happy in my own skin. I'm so happy with who I am and who I've become in my life so far and who I want to become and I've learnt so much through meeting people and through people teaching me things and I just really want to be able to give that back and empower others um, to realise their own truth and their own inner being and their own peace with the present moment and with where you're at and creating exciting goals to move forward into. So that's really what this is as a bit of an introduction to what I'm leaning into now and if I can help one person through this process then um, that's amazing. So I hope that that person's you <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.
stay tuned and stay awesome because everyone is awesome.